So you just found the perfect pair of cowboy boots. Now what? Well, in this video, we're gonna cover how to take care of them, what kind of maintenance you might need to do, how to store them, and even how to travel with them. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the most basic thing you can do to make sure that your boots last is rotate them when you wear them. You don't wanna wear them two days in a row. The reason for this is because your feet sweat and release oils and all sorts of stuff while you're wearing them. So you need to give your boots a day off to air out in between wears. There's a couple of fundamentals to think about when you're storing your boots. Obviously you wanna do it in a place with good ventilation, it's cool, you know, your closet's probably fine. With Chisos in particular, you wanna pull out our removable insole, and with all boots, you wanna put in cedar boot trees and something to keep the shafts upright so they don't flop over. So let me show you what that looks like. Here we got my trusty Chisos number ones in South African ostrich. So the first thing to do is to pull out that comfort insole. And uh, now it's a, like a traditional cowboy boot. We've got that full leather insole in there. And you wanna put in a cedar boot tree. Now, this one, uh, I actually, they make them in Western shapes. I actually prefer the ones that are not because I don't wanna stretch out more of the vamp on my boot. But you can use the ones that are shaped for Western boots. They're gonna be fine too. Uh, the second thing to look for is I like a spring that widens uh, so that makes sure it keeps the shape of the vamp and helps make sure everything stays nice and taut. So we'll put that in the boot, shove it down there, and that's gonna serve two main purposes. The first one is to absorb any moisture that is still in the boot. And to aid with that, you can also add in some talcum powder. The second purpose is to keep this nice shape of the vamp and the, the boot in general. The next thing is that you wanna make sure you put something inside the boot to keep the shafts open and upright. We ship all of our Chizos boots with cardboard inserts. They're plastic ones that expand. You can even use pool noodles. Uh, that's pretty popular to keep those shafts open. But the last thing I do is I just, for storage, I put that insole right down in the boot, and that is going to significantly extend the life of your cowboy boots. Some of the reasoning behind that is the bottoms of a well-made cowboy boot are designed to be resold. You can even replace the heel cap and even the entire heel stack over time. But what's really difficult is to do a full rebuild, including the internal leather insole. And a lot of times that happens because the wear from the inside will actually start to deteriorate the leather from the inside out. And so by airing them out every day, using cedar boot trees, you're gonna reduce the effects and make sure they last even longer. If you don't have multiple pairs of boots, then well, you know, you might have to suffer and not wear cowboy boots for a day. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm sure you can handle it. And again, you don't have to do this every day. This is the optimal way to treat your cowboy boot. If you do wear them continuously, this basic step is even more important to do every evening. The number one enemy to a cowboy boot is going to be moisture from both the outside and the inside. And so that's why this is such a key aspect to the preservation and longevity of your cowboy boot investment. So let's say you wanna travel and leave your great state and go explore the rest of the world and you don't want to leave home without your cowboy boots first of all good on you that's the right way to be but you want to make sure that you travel in a way that doesn't hurt the boots so first off i recommend just wearing them on the plane now if you don't like that idea or you want to bring a second pair of cowboy boots you got to make sure that you protect the boots from getting crushed while they're in your luggage and or from getting the rest of your luggage dirty now they do make these big bulky leather boot carriers. They're kind of their own piece of luggage, but I personally, I don't like them. I like to travel as light as possible. So we've created boot bags that we ship with every pair of Chisos boots. First of all, make sure you've got your cedar boot tree so the vamp doesn't get crushed and you've got something in the shaft to keep that expanded. Slide that bad boy in the bag. It's ready to travel. So the boot bags are gonna keep it from getting scuffed and also to keep any dirt from the bottom of your boots from getting on the rest of your luggage. That cedar tray is gonna make sure that the vamp doesn't get crushed and either the cardboard or a pull noodle or whatever you're using to keep that shaft from getting flattened while you're traveling with. Easy. So you're an expert cowboy boot maintainer. You're taking out your insoles at night, putting in your cedar boot trees. And when you travel, you're making sure your cowboy boots don't get crushed. So now let's talk about how do I clean and condition my boots? Cowboy boots with finished leather that have 
gone through a partial vegetarian, partial chrome tan process like your Chiso's boots have a lot of natural oils already embedded in the boots. This doesn't mean that you never need to maintain them, but it doesn't mean you have to overdo it. A good rule of thumb is every three months, take your boots out, brush them off, put on some conditioner, maybe some polish, put them back in the closet. That's all you need to do. We actually made an entire video about this that goes into detail on all the different ways to condition and clean your cowboy boots. Don't miss that one. Number one takeaway to remember is just every three months, add some conditioner to make sure you restore those oils that are on the outside of your cowboy boots. One final note on wear and tear. So your boots are not going to last forever without needing some maintenance. Just like brakes on your vehicle, the soles of your cowboy boots are designed to wear out over time. This is going to vary depending on how much you wear them, how hard you wear them, what your walking stance is like, etc. A general rule of thumb that I live by is about once a year, maybe a little bit longer, I'm gonna need to resole one of my pair of cowboy boots. So how do you know when you need to resole your cowboy boots? Well, we're gonna show you some footage right now and some images that show you what it looks like. Essentially, the welt and the sole, which is leather, they're both leather, will start to separate at one point. When that starts to happen, you should look into finding a good local cobbler to replace that sole. Uh, you do not want to wait long enough that a hole has worn through the bottom of your leather sole and is starting now to eat into the interior parts of your boot. That is gonna start to require more expensive and more extensive rebuild that you just don't wanna deal with. A lot of times, you might wear through the heel cap, which is rubber, faster than the leather sole. That's okay, just replace the heel cap. Again, Cobbler can give you some good advice on this just by taking a look at any pair of boots you might have. The bottom line is that you don't need to do a ton to make sure your boots last, but a little care and a little maintenance go a long way. And if you treat your boots right, they'll be there for you for decades to come.